black and white show this week. We have a buy, so we thought we'd try something a little bit different. Uh, via my Twitter, I sent out any questions you had for any players. I want to get through as many of them as I can. All right, Faz, got a question here from the football tragic, mate. He wants to know, uh, as an 18-year-old leaving home, moving into state to Melbourne, uh, how hard has the transition been and how hard is it trying to crack into a premiership team? Um, no, nah, the, the club's been really good to me. They, they put us up in a uh, really good area, so they look after us and put us in a clubhouse. So I'm living with a couple of the other rookies, and, um, and all the senior boys, like yourself, are very good to me. And so it's actually been a lot easier than I thought. Hello, right, Beamer. Hannah wants to know uh, why you started getting tattoos. Why? Um, I'm not too sure why. But, uh, when I was about 17, I um, decided to go in and uh, get a couple, but you know, I've always had a bit of an interest in tattoos, and they uh, fascinate me a little bit. And the Alex from Blackburn wants to know which one's your favourite? Um, probably my uh, hip, the one on my leg and up my hip. Uh, it's my most, the latest one, and it's yet to be finished, but it's probably my favourite. Righto, Pendles. Ashley from Brunswick wants to know. Um, if you get another tattoo, what would you get? Um, I'll only get another one if we win the flag, so um, probably just add 2011 to the current one I got from last year. Hopefully you get that chance, mate. Uh, what can't you leave home without? Uh, my car. I don't get, get, get very far without it, mate. <laughs> just here with Majo. Majo, Andrew Worrell wants to know. You know you've played forward and back. Which group of blokes are better blokes? Back one. Hello, right, Bully. John Murray from Warradale wants to know what's the biggest difference between uh, Collingwood and St Kilda in terms of training and culture? Uh, well, John, there's, there's a lot of similarities at playing level. Um, obviously, they've been a pretty successful team for the last few years, so in terms of um, the professionalism of the players and, and uh, um, as I said, the su success over the last couple of years, it's pretty similar, but probably the main thing I notice at this club is just the, the size, the difference of... Um, obviously, the, you fantastic supporters and members, um, and the fact that we get to play in front of such big crowds at the MCG most weeks is um, is fantastic, and you know, I'm really you know thankful and privileged to be a part of it. Tuva, Amy Marshall wants to know: Do you like being called Possum? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't mind it. It's a bit of fun. Who came up with it? I think uh, James Brayshaw did Triple M Footy Radio Show. Good plug for them. Well done, mate. And Jane wants to know: Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I don't, no. She wants to know what you look for in a girl. Um, just, um, just a nice girl for, for a start will do, yeah. Just, it's about what's in here, you know, Nick, so, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Rock Peterson wants to know, have you read my book? Rock Peterson, has he got a book? What's his, have you read it? Maxie's book? Oh. Um, no, I flick through, look for my name, that's about it. <laughs> On a lighter note, Teresa wants to know, uh, your foot injury, are you going out in sympathy for your brother? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. I think he's going to miss a few more weeks than me, but um, on a lighter note, mate, uh, what about me beating you in Dream Team this week? Can you? Thanks to Heath Shaw. Heath Shaw gave me nothing. All I needed him to score just even half his average and he would have won it. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Max, he's second on the ladder and I actually beat him and now I'm in the top eight, so what I beat you by, Max? You should know. By whatever Heath should have got. <laughs> uh, here with the Secret Shuffler, Nicky wants to know, when will we find out your true identity? Righto, Harry, Ash wants to know, are you the secret shuffler? No, I, no, I'm not the secret shuffler. That's all you had to say. Tim from Seymour wants to know, uh, how did you react when you were contacted by the Dalai Lama's people uh, to be an ambassador for them? Um, yeah, well, about two months ago, our publicist Liz came up to us and said that she had a, a, a weird request and um, said, yeah, go on. And she said, well, no, I've got a call from the Dalai Lama's publicist and you know, uh, they want you to be his ambassador for, for his Australian tour, so yeah. First of all, it was the silence, and then I was just, yeah, just so elated. Jack Carter wants to know, what's your nickname? Um, uh, I've got one back home, I was called, uh, I was just called Bolts back home, but since I came here, Luke Rounds made up uh, Dingo, which uh, got spread around pretty quick, and it's just for nothing really, but... <laughs> no, you know, don't know what's for. <laughs> he just thought it sounded good, so he just gave it to me. He said we needed a dingo around. So, yeah. right. uh, Jess wants to know your first Ned Cup game. How did it feel? What were your light nerves and all that sort of stuff? Um, oh, it was good to get out in front of in front of a crowd. I'm used to playing in front of 30 people, so have have 30,000 instead was was a lot different. But um, 
Yeah, I was, I was a bit nervous before the game, but once I started playing, yeah, it was, it was all good. Yeah. And Bev wants to know, do you have a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend at the moment, no. She wants to know what you look for in a girl. <laughs> um, oh, just a nice girl, really. Um, you around uh, you have been working together. Yeah. All right, Daisy, uh, Karen wants to know, uh, you know you're shaving your head for charity. Uh, is there any plans for some dreadlocks first? Uh, no, although I might leave this one dreadlock once I've shaved the whole lot for a bit of a touch. That'll be very interesting. Uh, Chelsea wants to know, when you were in Tassie this year, uh, what was the strangest thing you saw and the strangest thing you signed? Uh, the strangest thing I signed was a baby's head. Um, the strangest thing I saw, probably some of the locals. <laughs> uh, Ashley from Machuca, she wants to know, how did it feel to be called the number one player in the league? Embarrassing. All right, Steele, first question uh, comes from Claudia. She says that she's your biggest fan. She wants to know if you've got a girlfriend. I do not have a girlfriend. I've uh, broken up with my girlfriend actually about two months ago, so for those girls out there, I'm on the market. <laughs> uh, Nicky and Claudia, they both want to know what you do away from football. Away from football? Um, I suppose I've got a few hobbies away from footy, but I like to have a hit of golf or I've got a few mates down here now, which is good, just chill out with them. But yeah, apart from that, I don't do a whole lot. No. Jess from Reservoir wants to know, Reservoir, I hope I've pronounced that properly, wants to know, uh, when are we going to see a clean shave and steel side bottom? I actually did it uh, probably about three months ago, and I clean shave, but I get ingrowns up around my neck, so usually I just yeah, trim it up, don't don't go the full full cut. Nice, mate. Um, now, Abby wants to know, have you seen the I Love Steel banner in the crowd, and also, when are you going to come to Bendigo? I reckon I might have seen it once, I think, and I you know try and keep an eye for it every now and then, but... Um, Bendigo, my brother's uh, fiance actually lives in Bendigo, so I could be there um, soon, maybe, who knows. But I shared Annalise from Williamstown wants to know what other sports are you into? Uh, I like basketball, I've been watching the basketball lately with uh, Dallas taking out the series, so that's been the sport I've been into, and rugby union, I like rugby union as well. Who do you follow in both sports? Uh, I like Miami, but I was a bit disappointed they lost, and uh, I like Miami Seagulls. Perfect, your other question is, which was the last movie you cried in? Marley and Me. The uh, one about the dog, it's a pretty, pretty tear-jerking movie, that one. I think most, even you would have shed a tear, even though you're a tough guy. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the black and white show for this week. Something different. You owned it. Hope you enjoyed it.